What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. In today's video we're going to learn five C2 phrasal verbs that can be very useful for your C1 or C2 exams. Are you ready? So take a notebook and let's kick off. The first phrasal verb we're going to learn today is to crack down on something or somebody. It means to start dealing with something or somebody much more strictly. En castellano sería tomar medidas severas o aplicar mano dura. And now let's look at two examples with this advanced phrasal verb. The first one, the government should crack down on drink driving as it's one of the main causes of road accidents. And the second one, I wish there was a drive to crack down on corruption and bribery. Now let's move on to our second phrasal verb, which is to set out. It means to start doing or working on something in order to achieve a name. En castellano sería proponerse hacer algo. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, the government set out to reduce traffic in the city center. And the second example, she set out to grow a successful business. And now let's look at our phrase verb number three, which is to come in for something. It means to receive blame or criticism. En castellano sería sufrir crítica. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the new tax law has come in for fierce criticism. And the second example, it's inevitable to come in for criticism when running a YouTube channel. Now let's move on to our phrasal verb number four, which is to fall back on something or somebody. It means to have something to use or somebody to turn to when you are in difficulty. En castellano sería contar con el apoyo de algo o de alguien cuando tienes dificultades o recurrir a alguien cuando lo necesitas. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, it's advisable to have some savings you can fall back on. And the second example, whenever I'm in need, I know I can fall back on my parents. And last but not least, the phrase verb to run up against something or somebody. It means to experience an unexpected difficulty or to meet somebody who is very difficult to deal with. En castellano sería enfrentarse a algo o alguien o afrontar. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the mayor has to run up against a position to his proposals. And the second example, it's uncertain if our candidate will win the election as he's running up against a tough opponent. So I hope you liked this English bit and found these five C2 phrasal verbs useful. If you want to learn more, you can take the phrasal verb quiz right here. And of course, if you enjoyed this English bit, don't forget to like it, to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!